on the hunt for a new twin fin surfboard, well here's 10 options to consider adding to your quiver. Hi guys, Chris from Stoke for Travel here, welcome back to the channel. Now before I get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any video goodness. Now today we're going to be talking about the twin fin surfboard which has seen a huge surge in popularity over the last few years. From performance boards through to summer fun, there's a lot of board options out there to choose from. So today I'm going to chat through everything you need to know including fin setups and 10 epic boards you should consider adding to your quiver. So to kick things off we're going to talk through the three different fin types you can use in a twin fin surfboard. So the pivot twin, the keel fin and also the twinny in the trailer. Now they all have different characteristics so I'm going to break them all down so you can make sure you choose the right twin fin surfboard for you. So first off let's talk through the keel fin setup. Now this is the most traditional twin fin setup you can put in your board and it's going to give you heaps of drive, speed and control in bigger punchier conditions. Uh, a twin fin with a keel fin is going to give you those really nice drawn out carving lines uh, so it's not going to be kind of top to bottom style surfing it's going to be more drawn out. Um, and even though they work really well in bigger punchy conditions, if you put it in the right uh, board, especially fishes, the keel fin is great for smaller days to maximize your drive and speed. So things like the Hypto Crypto Twin and the DHD Mini Twin 2 also go really well with a keel fin setup. Uh, an example of keel fins out there are kind of the Futures K2, the Almeric Twin Fin setup, uh, the Project Blank Classic Keel, and also the Rob Machado Keel Fin are all awesome ones to load into your board. So yeah, that's the keel fin. On the other end of the spectrum is the Pivot Upright Twin Fin Set. Um, now these fins give you plenty of speed like the keel fins, but they give you a lot more maneuverability, especially if you're looking at kind of more top to bottom style surfing. Uh, so things like the Album Twinsman are great performance boards to use with a Pivot Twin Set. Uh, now examples of Pivot Twin Sets you can check out are the Killers, um, the Power Twins, the MR Twins, and also the T1 Twin Fin Setups, all really good examples of a great Pivot Fin. But yeah, in terms of performance of your board, the pivot fin is going to be much more top to bottom surfing and maneuverable. Now the third option I'm just going to chuck in the mix just to throw things out there is the twinny and a trailer option. So if you're finding a twin fin setup is a little bit too loose and skaty for you, having a trailer in the back box of your board is just going to tighten things up that little bit more. It's going to give you a little bit more hold on those bottom turns but still keep that release and maneuverability that twin fins are loved for. So yeah, a twin fin with a trailer setup is also a nice one to consider. Now we've chatted through the fin setups, uh, let's talk through 10 awesome twin fin surfboard options you should consider adding to your quiver. First on my list is the Hypto Crypto Twin by Hayden Shapes, which was a surprising addition to my quiver last year. Uh, it runs really well in a huge variety of conditions from kind of smaller, mushier waves right through to bigger, punchier conditions. It's going to suit a huge variety of surfers. Uh, I use mine with a more kind of retro keel style setup and it's a great all round twin fin board. Next up is the Lost Evil Twin. Uh, now this you can use with a few different fin setups, but a twin fin setup is my go-to and it's a great small wave surfboard to consider adding to your quiver. Uh, now for me, I use a more upright pivot style twin in this and it's fast, maneuverable and really shreds in smaller, mushier conditions. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit with this next entry and do the DHD Mini Twin and Mini Twin 2. Uh, now even though these boards share pretty much the same name, they are a very different twin fin, so make sure you pick the right one for you. Uh, the original DHD Mini Twin is definitely more performance based twin, use a more upright pivot twin in that and it can handle some huge size. Uh, the Mini Twin 2 on the other hand adds a little bit of extra foam and is definitely better with a more retro keel style fin setup and is definitely better in kind of smaller summer conditions and for that more retro twin fin vibe. So yeah, that's the DHD Mini Twin and Mini Twin 2. Now we can't really talk about twin fin surfboards without chatting about Mark Richards, the twin fin champion. And nothing's more iconic than his 1980 retro pro model, complete with those beautiful stingers in the tail. Uh, now if you're looking at a Mark Richards board, you've got to strap in the MR signature fins and you can also add in the trailer in the back just to tighten things up. So yeah, that's the 1980 retro pro model by Mark Richards. Next up is the Firewire Go Fish by Rob Machado. Uh, now this was one of the first twin fins I really gelled with and it goes great in a huge variety of conditions and is super lively underfoot. Uh, the Rob Machado keel fins are the best board setup. They were designed to go with this one. And um, so yeah, strap those in for maximum fun. Next on the list is a favorite of my brother's, uh, the Axod Two Fangs. And uh, now this is a really lively twin fin setup and definitely in the more performance range of things, but it can handle a huge variety of conditions again. 
Um, strap in a set of upright pivot twins to give you plenty of maneuverability, lots of release, and heaps of fun on everything from beach breaks to reeling points. Now, if you're looking for a twin fin surfboard that sits firmly in the performance end of the spectrum, the Mick Fanning Horseshoe Twin is definitely one to consider adding to your quiver. Designed with Shaper DHD to go with the H4 uh, twin fin set by FCS, this is definitely a high performance twin fin and it's going to be something that you'll be riding in bigger, punchier conditions and weighs with that little bit more shape. So yeah, the MF Horseshoe Twin, definitely one to consider. If you're looking for a bit of retro vibes mixed with some high performance surfing, then the Channel Islands Twin Pin is definitely one to add into the mix. Signature board model of Mikey February, this board absolutely rips and his footage from Costa Rica just shows exactly what this board can do. Um, it's definitely something for a bit more punchier conditions, so don't kind of rely on it in kind of smaller, mushier summer conditions. But the CI uh, Twin Pin is definitely one to add into the mix. Next up is a great all-round twin fin board and a collaboration project between Lost and Mark Richards, and that's the MR Cali Twin. And this works well in a huge variety of conditions and is at home in smaller summer conditions as it is in bigger, punchier surf. Strap in the MR Signature Fin Set for best results. And the final board on my list is the Album Twinsman. Uh, now this is the weapon of choice for Josh Kerr and Asher Pacey and is definitely in the performance category of twin fins. Uh, you've only got to check out Kersey's footage from the Mets to see exactly what this board can do. And he's really pushed the limits of what a twin fin is capable of. Best surf with a more upright pivot twin. Uh, Shapers and Asher Pacey have also released a dedicated fin for this board. Uh, so that's a great one to check out. But yeah, that's the Twinsman by Album Surfboards. And there you have it guys, that's my full twin fin surfboard guide. If you'd like to read a bit more about twin fin surfboards, make sure you check out the links in the description below. Make sure you check out the rest of my YouTube channel for heaps more surfboard reviews, guides and more. That's it for this week guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you next week.